It's lunchtime in Nairobi and young professionals get together to socialize and take in the views. This young man has decided to order his food online and so he opens the Jumia food app. He starts by sifting through a long list before picking his preferred restaurant. He glances at the menu and then decides. On the opposite end, the order is received by a call centre agent who verifies it. So can you allow me to verify your address? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just look, Kaka House, yeah. Loads up the customer's details and contacts the restaurant directly. Moments later, that order falls into the hands of the delivery man, who then makes his way for collection. Jumia Food is one of the newer businesses along the sales channel of the leading pan-African e-commerce platform, Jumia. It was a bit of a slow kind of setup. Um, you know, we have restaurant partners, for example, that we work with, um, who have you know their traditional in-store outlets, uh, and we're sitting down, explaining to them how the technology could, in, you know, help them with incremental business getting our logistics partners in place um, where they actually understand how we're tracking them uh, and then also educating the customers on how we can actually get this food delivered in under 60 minutes. According to Shranil Ruparelia, it's only in the past two years or so that online food delivery has taken off. It's mainly stimulated by the popularity of M-Pesa, a mobile money transfer system that's revolutionized the Kenyan economy. We've seen quite an exponential growth with a very big proportion of customers online. That certainly has supported the exponential growth over the last two, three years in terms of on-demand services in Kenya. On-demand is a reference to lifestyle products such as food, movie tickets and hotel accommodation that more African consumers are buying using online systems. Kenyans in particular have a knack for it. After all, this country has been referred to as the Silicon Savannah. It's been nearly 20 minutes since that food order was placed. So, let's track it. It appears the delivery man is still weaving his way through the lunchtime rush. But riding a motorcycle makes it easier to navigate the traffic. He soon arrives at Giro's kiosk, where the restaurant is finalizing the food preparations. And then it's handed over. He checks that everything's okay, saddles up and makes his way back to the customer. The ride back is perhaps a chance to think about the journey itself and the difficulty of driving on some of the roads which are in a state of disrepair. We invest quite a lot actually in training. So things like when mobile money payments are down, for example, or when there's rain, you know, we, we have contingency plans that we put in place. We communicate frequently to restaurants and customers if we can't deliver, so we manage their expectations. But these are macro issues. Today's customer is mainly concerned about having his food delivered on time. And it is.